Can we please get some love for this? By the way, look at these guys. Look at these. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening, folks? And welcome back to Hunting with Tripler. Many of you have noticed over the last couple of years, the retro nostalgia video game toy community has absolutely exploded. And not just on YouTube or TikTok, social media, but I'm talking the number of shows that are out there, people who are out there hunting for these items. I mean, the community has absolutely exploded. And today we're gonna meet a few of those heavy hitters while at the same time hunting for some serious treasure. We found some gold. Check it out. I collect so many things. Would you like to share this journey with me? I will show you the prizes I got today. So in today's episode, I get to finally meet up with some of my favorite YouTubers. This has been a long-awaited get-together, and we go toy hunting, game hunting together in a place that I gotta say, Kelly's Toys in Huntington Beach, California. Oh my goodness. This place is is phenomenal. If you're in the Southern California area, if you're gonna be visiting out here, you have got to stop by this place. Of course, when I'm going to a place like this, I might know that prices are on the high side, but typically these are items that would definitely be going into your collection. A place like this is where you wanna go looking for those rare items. And boy, did we find some gems here. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it, I made out like an absolute bandit. I got some crazy deals, and I've already flipped a few of them. It's amazing. But the channel is called Hunting with Trip because we're out there looking for treasure, things for our collection, things for the resale business, things that are just nostalgic. But setting that part aside for a moment, the backdrop was seeing four guys that I've been wanting to hang out with for a long time. And one of the reasons I'm so excited about my favorite YouTubers being here in California is that I just haven't had a chance to get out and see them. And them being here is such a great opportunity for me to finally connect and join in this community that has exploded in the last year and a half. But I also can't just show up randomly wearing just this. So I've got a few options, and the first, of course, being my iconic Ninja Turtles hoodie, which probably makes the most sense, but I also picked up this today. This is a kid's extra large <laughs> Zelda Twilight Princess costume that I really do think looks tremendous. and. Given the fact that I think something like this won't fit me at all is perfect for a scenario like this. So let's get this baby on. This barely fits one of my legs. Maybe this. We'll tie it like this around myself. Oh boy, these boots look really tiny. I mean, really tiny. <laughs> What else do we have in this package here? We've got the tunic. This thing won't wrap around me, it's made for a kid. This can wrap somewhere like this. Again, these ears are for the kids. I mean, that would be super cool, but instead we'll just do this. I mean, I look ridiculous. I don't even think anyone who would see me walking around would have any idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna abandon this. <sighs> Much better. So I'm on my way right now and what do you know? I hit a whole lot of traffic and Rick calls me up and he's like, hey, we're here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm 10 minutes away. I'm more like 20 minutes away because all of a sudden traffic literally at three o'clock on a Friday decided to literally explode right in front of me. So anyway, this is what I'm faced with. Yeah, a whole lot of this, it's great. All right, so I just pulled up and I wanna make a few predictions here. I'm guessing Rick is probably geeking out on something from the 90s. Caleb is probably doing something GameCube Gambit related and Riff is just spazzing out somewhere. That is my initial prediction right when we walk in. So before we walk into the store, I just wanna set the scene here really quickly because first of all, I didn't bring my GoPro and that was a terrible mistake because I missed a whole bunch of really great footage. And then second, as I'm walking in, I feel really weird just like 
walking in, meeting these guys for the first time and having my phone like this. And at the same time, I did capture some of that footage, but it was like pointed to the ground. Stop, Look at this guy. You're taller. You're taller than I thought. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? How you been? Good. How you doing? Awesome. So what I decided to do instead is reenact the meeting of some of my favorite YouTubers and I decided to put it into a stop motion animation that I think you guys will love. Enjoy. What is happening? Tripler, aka Rock. Hey Tripler. Is that Caleb? What's happening my man? Oh Enix, Reese. Yeah, man, starting a new series called the Wii U Wangle. Awesome. Skateboard Riff. What? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm Riff. Let me get a high five in there. Oh, absolutely. No way, is that Tripler? Yo, I'm Retro Rick. Guys, this place looks awesome. Oh, it is. Hey, I'm Ricky. Well, thanks for the invite. Let's look around. Definitely. Yeah, man. Skateboards. I love the 90s. Retro Renegades. Retro Renegades. Get some love for this. By the way, look at these guys. Look at these. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> this is like. So. I feel like the best stuff is up on top. Am I am I wrong about that? No, no. Sometimes people never look up. And and the and the best thing is is I guess the fact that I'm an ice giant. I mean, how many people are coming in on this new kids on the block stuff? I mean, look at this. Are you kidding me? I love it. Digital okay. Sonic. This word, what? Wait, what? Ricky said Sonic. Oh, away, away. You guys still have the Sonic oh Sonic? Oh my god. I was thinking about it. I did. Oh. That's dope. What is happening in here, man? This is like. Oh. This is cool. Look at this. That's really oh, that's really cool. cool. The Disney after. Oh boy. Really cool. Actually, believe it or not, right? It's in the center. Huh? But it doesn't work. Work. Oh, they always work. Well, I mean, so you have to get a fix. So. Oh, okay. Look at this guy, 10 bucks for this whole stack? Uh, That's crazy. Bucks, Coming in hot, look at this. I, I just asked how much this was and he gave it to me. This for is his personal. This, this is what I'm talking about. That's awesome. That's dude. awesome. I've never had this one, so I need to have one. Look at that. That Green is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's in great shape. Oh, the Simpsons stuff. For okay. No. Brand new sealed. Brand new sealed. And I'm starting to get a little bit excited here. Um, won't be the last. I never asked. Do you want to start? For you? You don't have to. No, no, really. But that, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, see? Not like one. See what I mean? I've got the sun coming in here, painting me completely orange. Uh, so we just got back from meeting up with Rick, with Riff, and with Phoenix, with Caleb, um, and just had a tremendous time. I don't think I got a chance to show you guys up close exactly what I picked up because there were a couple of surprises here, one of which is the first being the fact that this guy gave me an entire bag of cards for 10 bucks and I didn't even open them and look other than the fact that I saw some Ninja Turtle cards in here. So 10 bucks for this entire thing. And then I picked up this guy right here, brand new sealed uh, PS1 LCD. I mean, this thing goes for really good money. And then the best one here is this PS2 Slim model. Uh, this one is also brand new sealed. I got everything here for quite a bit. It was 560 for all of it. Now we're gonna go in and see what we got here because I think there's gonna be a couple of gems in here, Ninja Turtle related. All right, let's see what we got. So the X-Men stuff, not particularly uh, excited about. Most of this stuff surprisingly just doesn't have a lot of value. Some of them do maybe, there might be a few rare ones, but um, in any case, I'm gonna try to skip through some of these really quick. If there's any of you out here who are interested in these Uncanny X-Men uh, card backs, let me know. Ooh, that one, the Weapon X, Wolverine, Cable. I don't remember what this guy's name was. That's a cool one. There we go. 
GoBots. Check out that, that's kind of cool. Battle Trolls, can you guys take a look at that artwork? Look at how fantastic that is. Roadhog Troll, there's another one there. You know, obviously the bubble not being there, but overall, these look really cool. I don't even remember this at all. And I'm gonna guess this is 90s, early 90s. So this is deep 90s, definitely deep 90s. This looks like this might be the entire set. And there we go. And now we are on to some Ninja Turtles. Oh, Rat King, nice and cut out. So it's it's still cool, nice to have. Rock Steady, Machine Gun and Rock Steady, solid. That looks super cool. What year is this? This one is 1989, Casey Jones. Right now I have a Casey Jones carded, um, I guess it's mint on card on my eBay store. Uh, here's another one. I can't even tell who this one is. Here we go. There's a nice one. Let's see. Krang, baby! Actually, I might bundle this with a second Krang that I have. A foot soldier. Sweet. I know who this guy is. I have him. I know who this guy is. I have him. There we go. There's another one. And then a Joe. We got a G.I. Joe. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, we got an old school Aquaman. 1985 for this one. Police Academy, interesting. Motu, Tongue Lasher, look at that. And we do, I thought I saw some Star Wars in there. Return of the Jedi, look at that. I mean, these are in rough shape, but who cares? That's kind of cool. Ooh, Ben Kenobi, nice. Ooh, Princess Leia. And then we've got some GoBots, but a whole bunch of GoBots. These are super cool as well. So honestly, a really cool stack. What a great time I had with those guys. And I'm probably gonna meet up with them tomorrow at the convention. But at this point, couldn't be happier with all these purchases. And that was today's episode, folks. I had a fantastic time with my YouTube friends. I had a great time going out there hunting at Kelly's Toy Shop. What an amazing store it was. And if you guys were wondering how much I sold the PS2 Slim Sealed, I sold it for over $500. So I almost got all my money back on just that one item. So. Yeah, I had a nice flip there. There's gonna be a lot more content with those guys over the summer, so make sure that you're a subscriber and that you have the bell on so you know when I have content coming out. You don't wanna miss any of this stuff. Now, a couple of quick updates on my side. I said I was gonna have four auctions last week from Whatnot, and I had one, and it was fun, but definitely not what I was expecting. So I'm probably gonna stick to just the stuff that you guys are used to seeing from me, which is just going to be retro video games. So from now on, Whatnot auctions probably won't be anything other than that. Any of you who are graphic artists, definitely reach out to me. I have two projects in particular that I'm trying to get done. Number one, I want to make a logo for the channel, specifically for hunting with Tripler and then I'm also trying to make in anticipation of 5,000 subscribers I'm gonna be doing something kind of unique with some vintage graphic tees so I don't want to say any more than that yet but any of you who are graphic artists out there please get in touch with me Instagram is a great way to do that yeah so if any of you guys like the channel and you're artistic I, I would definitely like to collaborate with you two other quick updates number one my wada games came back and it's so many but it's actually only half of the order I still have like another 20 games that are coming to me and the market is just at the very bottom so I'm really glad I did it it really worked out waiting only nine months to get my games back to totally worth it and second I got my first batch of PSA items back and that was a year and three months it took for those to come back so 15 months for my PSA vintage cards to come back. I'm not sure how I'm gonna display that, so make sure you're following me on Instagram. I think that's probably where I'll share some of those games and some of those PSA cards if you're interested at all. With that said, folks, I had a great time today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the channel, and you know what? I will see you next time. Take care. All right, Tripler coming in. Oh, hey, what up, Bri? I'm Caleb. Hiya! Hey y'all, it's me, Retro! Rick, it's me, Tripler. Dude, I desperately want your guys' approval. It means so much to me. Blah!